through to this uh, little piece of kit I've got. Um, it's called the Eon VCR to PC, and basically it's a video converter. You can transfer old VHS tapes, and it will uh, digitize them and put them onto your computer. You can save them onto your hard drive, upload them to YouTube, which is what I've been doing for my videos, and you can also save them to DVD. So, basically, very simple piece of kit, very basic, works just like an old fashion VHS recorder or player and um, we've got on off button rewind fast forward stop play pause a switch there to flick from tape to pick it up camera uh, stop eject button track in just just like an ordinary uh, ordinary VHS recorder player slot there that's where you stick your VHS tape couple of leads there's a USB port there and that through USB USB lead connects into your computer and shoves it all onto there. I could never get the hang of this old. Never, never managed to get a FireWire or any of this equipment. I've had video cameras for about twenty odd years, but uh, only till I got this, uh, ne never got round to uploading any videos on the computer. Didn't really know what I was doing or what I needed. But this this solves the problem. So. Give you a little demo there. It's all switched on. We've already got an old VHS tape in there. No, we haven't. You bear with me, I'll just get one. Right, got this old VHS tape from a few years back. Push that in there like that. Play pause button. And here it comes up on the screen. Simple software. Um it's got its own editing program, but I don't tend to use the editing program that comes with it. I tend to save it to file. It saves it as an MPEG. And then I transfer it into, import it into Windows Movie Maker, because it's a nice, simple editing program. Um, there are other programs, of course, but I use Windows Movie Maker because it's simple, like me, whilst it has its glitches. There's a timer there, so you can set the amount of time you want to record or do it manually. We'll give it a file name. We'll call that, I don't know. Pups test. You can see Tuba's pups up there. And just hit record. Little red light comes up there, flashes on and off to tell us we're recording. I'm not going to pursue that. We'll stop that there. Do you want to stop recording? Yes, we do. And that will put it straight into my video file as um, as an MPEG file. I'll just stop it down there as well, otherwise it's going to be drowning us out. So, yeah, that's simple. Um, and then we want to connect to the video camera. We'll just flick that switch from tape to other. Bear with me, I'm using an old Samsung here. Just send that lead into there. Put on the player. Press the play button. There you go. So that is putting it straight onto the screen, just like the VHS. I'll switch that off. Because it's drowning us out, is the noise? Really simple to use. Does everything it says on the tin. Whilst you're uploading to your software there, there's a little checkbox you can tick automatically create a disc with a captured video. So you can be doing that as you're uploading onto the computer. Just shove your blank DVD into the drawer there and it'll automatically record that onto a DVD. What I tend to do is upload it onto the computer then import it into Windows Movie Maker, edit it, cut all the crap out, all the bits and pieces that you don't want. Um, all these old VHS tapes seem to go on for hours and hours and hours. We don't need all that. We just want to get it down to a few minutes of recording for whatever we want to use it for. Brilliant piece of kit. I bought this from Maplins. As I say, Maplins about... Uh, 
Christmas time last year, uh, about 150 quid or thereabouts. I'd highly recommend it to anybody. That's what I've been using for my little video projects. So there you have it. Piece of kit. Recommend.